What's good everyone? Welcome back. Today I've got a CGC comic haul for you. Alright, so this is books that I've picked up over the last uh, probably month or so. And I'm super excited to get into this video because first off, um, I finished my 2020 comic want list. I've never finished one of these lists before so I'm super excited uh, to finally have completed one. There was only three books on it though and part of that is because uh, you know they were pricey and some I thought was going to be more obscure and harder to find and I really just wanted to complete my list and I did. So um, that's one of the reasons I had only three books on it. I've also got uh, my books back from CGC that I sent off at C2E2 and then I picked a few other ones up online uh, for some good prices. So first book here really excited about this one. Um, I'm trying to complete the uh, the Wrightson uh, Lin Wayne run for Swamp Thing so I'm trying to get the first 10 issues and I started picking these up in 8.0 so I've just kind of ran with it and I'm halfway done with it now uh, but recently I was able to get issue number six off of that so pretty awesome this is a Bernie Wrightson uh, art and cover and then uh, Lin Wayne story and all of these are going to be through issue 10 at least uh, so that was issue six I said yeah six um, and then I also was able to get issue nine so I thought this one would be a little harder to get than it was um, but I got a really good price on it, so I went ahead, took advantage of it, and snatched that up. Um, same as the book before it, Lin Wayne's story, Bernie writes an art. Um, awesome. Great stuff. And this is a pretty iconic cover for a lot of people. Um, so I'm super excited to have this one. Check out the back there. Got some cool uh, little comic art going on on the back of that one. But um, I'm halfway done with that now. So I've got five of the first ten. I still need one, two, three, five, and ten. And like I said, I'm trying to get these in an 8.0. Never thought I was going to be into linear collecting until I started, you know, with this run. And now I just I want them all in an 8.0. But anyways, we're going to move on. So next up here, these are the books that I had purchased at C2E2 and then sent to CGC. Um, they were supposed to be signed by Clayton Crane at a private signing that was happening at C2E2. And to my surprise, I got them back and neither were signed. So um, they're getting ready to go back to CGC for another Clayton Crane private signing where the mishap will get fixed. So I appreciate their willingness to work with me and to get this uh, get this problem solved. But anyways, the first one I got here was TMNT, or Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, TMNT number one. This is a Scorpion Comics uh, C2E2 exclusive. This was limited to 150 copies. And uh, it came back in 9.8. Uh, a little disappointing that yellow label isn't up there. But hopefully it will be soon enough. Super excited about the grade though. And uh, you know I'll keep you updated on these books. See the back there too. Um, very good looking book though. So, And then the other one that I picked up. And this is the one I'm looking forward to really getting signed. Um, and was really disappointed it wasn't. But it's Venom the End number one. Another Scorpion Comics book. And... Uh, by Clayton Crane also for the art on the cover there and uh, yeah this was limited to, I think 600 so super happy this is a 9.8 a um, little bit bummed out though that it wasn't signed but like I said um, it's gonna get resolved soon so um, I can't really complain you know they're working with me all right and I've got two more books here so uh, this is actually probably the most slabs I've ever showed in one video that was a haul. Um, these two books were both on my list for 2020. The other one I showed in the video for my C2E2 haul. Um, that one I picked up. It was a Haunt of Fear 17. It was a zombie cover. So I was really excited to get that. Um, but I knew I had two other books on my list still. And since uh, C2E2 I've been on a mission to find these. And I did. So the first one I got here... And for some reason, I'm just really kind of drawn to uh, Scarecrow covers. And um, I got some more on my list I'm hoping to pick up here in the future. 
um, but uh, this one really caught my attention last year and I just knew I had to have it so I threw it on my list this year but from EC Comics we got Shock Suspense Story 17 all right so Scarecrow cover there um, the EC covers are just great though there's always something uh, super violent it seems like happening in them these are horror books so I'm really drawn to these titles uh, but super excited to have this. It's in a 5.0. Looks like we got Carl Wessler story, George Evans cover, um, Jack Kamen, Reed Crandall, George Evans, and Joe Orlando art. So super happy to have this. My EC collection is growing. Um, I think Reaper might have posted this in a... Uh, way better condition I believe it was a file copy from someone at EC's uh, actual collection so super jealous about that and then the last book I have here the one that I was most excited to get this year and uh, I picked it up at a good price and I'm not going to tell you what that price was but I got it it's something I was willing to pay and it is House of Secrets 92 it graded in a 4.0. I think I could probably get a bump on this though if I want to get it cleaned and pressed. I think there's room for improvement. Uh, but anyway, super excited to have this. First appearance of Swamp Thing. Um, Bernie Wrightson did the art on this. Lynn Wayne did the story. There's also some more stories in it from uh, Virgil North. And then you got art from uh, Weiss and Dezunga. I can't pronounce that guy's name. But Wrightson did the cover on this. And uh, this is super awesome. This is probably my favorite book in my collection at this point. Uh, super excited to have this though. Alright, so that wraps up the CGC Comic Haul. Uh, this was a lot of fun. Uh, I've enjoyed collecting in 2020 already. It's probably the best year I've had, the best start I've had to a year for sure. Uh, but anyways, my list is complete already for the year. So I'm going to have to come up with something else because there's probably three quarters of the year left to go and uh you know hopefully gonna pick up some more books so i'm still trying to hunt down a, a tmnt number two uh strange adventures 205 and then i would also uh really like to finish my uh, volume one uh the first 10 issues of swamp thing this year so uh those are my goals for the rest of the year but anyways uh hope you enjoyed this video if you did Leave a like, leave a comment below, subscribe if you're not already, and I will catch you all in the next video. So stay strange, everyone.